Hey folks, welcome back to Headline Outdoors. April rolling around. We're just getting into the old April showers thing. So while we're stuck inside, well, let's do some grilling. Let's do a little brisket. How about that? Stick around. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to start out with something a little different here. I'm going to mix taco seasoning and our rub seasoning together, half and half, to give it a little different taste. And see how it works out. Both recipes for both of the seasonings are found on the website and that's www.headlineoutdoors.com. With the brisket itself here we're going to trim up as much of the fat as we can off of it leaving about a quarter of an inch of a layer of a fat cap on top. Then we're going to rub it down with mustard just to have something to the rub or stick to. It won't give it a mustard taste or nothing. It, it just has something for that spice to stick to. Once you got a nice even coat of your rub all over it, we're going to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator just so it adheres to the meat itself. I like cooking my brisket at about 225 to 250. Sometimes it might get up to about 275, but nothing over that. But you let it smoke for, you know, at least two hours before you open it up and look at it and you start to mop. When the time comes for you to mop your brisket, it could be anything from just simple beef broth itself to adding your rub or garlic or brown sugar, pepper, anything you can think of that you enjoy to beef broth and just simply mopping it over just to keep your moisture in it. And you do that, you know, every hour to two hours. You don't want to constantly continue to open up at because it ain't going to cook. So use your best judgment. Once your brisket gets to the color that you want, a lot of people like your burnt ends on it. So if you like those, by all means, go ahead and just get it as dark as you want it. But I like this mahogany color on it, so I take it off then. I double wrap it in aluminum foil, and I put it back on the grill until it gets the internal temperature of about 190 to about 200 degrees. And then I go ahead and let it sit for about an hour. Some people put it in a cooler. Others, you know, just let it sit, just let it rest, whatever you do, and then we can cut into it later. Or, you get a little impatient like I do, and I'll cut into it a little early myself, 